Hey party people, Panda Brady here, and today we're going to be playing Final Fantasy VIII, a childhood RPG of mine. Uh, back then I didn't understand how junctioning worked, and I made it all the way to disc 3. Now I do know how junctioning works. So let's take this for a spin. Oh, this is one of my favorite RPGs. Right up there with uh, uh, Legend of the Dragoon and... This music is so hype. Okay, I don't know why the sound is behind. I really don't want to skip this. Final Fantasy VIII. Yes. Oh, such a great game. I don't know what was up with the audio there. Uh, I guess it's just Steam uh, messing up on me. Because this game normally works just fine. Dr. Katawaki, how are you feeling? Okay, I guess. My forehead hurts. Hmm. Okay, I guess. Okay. Take it easy next time, you hear? Looks like your eyes are focusing. You should be fine. Say your name for me. Name of the character is Squall Leonhart, not Leon. God, that bugged the crap out of me in, in Kingdom Hearts. Like, I had played this and then went to Kingdom Hearts and I recognized Squall right away. I was like, Squall, and they were like, Leon. And I was like, what? No. That's not at all who this is. Oh, uh, confirm. Why don't you take it easy in training? Next time, you might not be so lucky. Tell that to Cypher. That Cypher won't listen to anyone. Why don't you ignore him? I can't just run away. 
You want to be cool, huh? Well, don't get hurt in the process. Let's see. Your instructor is... Quistus. Or Quistus. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'll call her now. Just wait here a minute. I always said Quistus, but it's probably like Quistus. Or Quistus. Quistus? I don't know. Quistus is what I'll be saying. Or Quistus. Yeah, Quistus. Come get your student. Yes, yes. His injury is not serious. He'll probably leave a scar. Right. Now, please come by. Oh, who's that? Some lady meeting us. Squall. So we meet again. Huh? What do you mean again? I will not be spoiling the story as we go along. I will be trying anyways not to spoil. Oh, hello, teacher. <sighs> I knew it'd be either you or Cypher. Come on, let's go. Today's the field exam. And the field exam's probably as far as I'm going to go in this. Squall, is there something on your mind? Not really. <laughs> they both said not really. <laughs> what's so f what's so funny? Funny? No, no, it's not that. I'm just happy. <laughs> I feel like I'm beginning to understand my student a little, that's all. I'm more complex than you think. Then tell me. Tell me more about yourself. It's none of your business. <sighs> oh, these... CG cutscenes and stuff like this were like the thing I lived for back then. I loved this game so much. <sighs> Welcome to our combat school, the garden. Things like this are the reason why I expected Ruby to go more like Final Fantasy VIII. Good morning, class. Let's start with today's schedule. I, I thought maybe, you know, Beacon would be a floating castle in the sky or something. Shite. Forget I said that. There seem to have been some rumors flying around since yesterday. Yes, the field exam for seed candidates will begin later this afternoon. Those not participating and those who failed last week's written test are to remain here in study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Just be sure you're in top condition. Meet in hall at 1600 hours. I'll announce the team assignments there. Any questions? Oh, and Cypher? Do not injure your partner while training. Be careful from now on. Field exam participants, I will see you all later. And Squall, I need to talk to you. Alright, we shall. And before we leave, we definitely need to stop by that computer again. Hello, teacher. What did you need to speak with me about? You haven't been to the fire cavern yet, have you? You won't be able to take part in today's seed exam if you don't pass the prerequisite. I was gonna go this morning, but Cypher... Hmm? Do you have a good excuse? Not really. Then let's get going. If you're not too confident yet, you can review your studies at the study panel. I'll be waiting at the front gate, so come down when you're ready. You can access the study panel from your seat. They're really hinting that you should go over there. And uh, if you don't, you'll miss out on the first two GFs of the game. 
GFs in this game are summons. Um, I, as a kid, would just spam them. But uh, I've learned now, you don't spam them. What a pain. Turn on the power and... All right. Tutorial. Login Squall confirmed. GF data for Squall. Searching. GF registered under Squall are GF Quetzalcoatl and GF Shiva. We're good with those names. I'm not going to rename them. And we're good to go. Everything else, I'm pretty much already caught up on. So, I'm done. And I can always go later. Now, one thing that I don't like about this is that the controller ended up mapping the stick to the four directions. So, I can't just use the D-pad, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. I know there's a draw point around here somewhere. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Wah! Are you okay? There. Teehee, I'm fine. Sorry, I was kinda in a hurry. Oh yeah, hey, did you just come from that class? Is homeroom over? Ooh, oh no! This place is so much bigger than my last garden. Baloney. Oh, hey, hey. I just transferred here. Do you think you could give me a quick tour of this garden? Sure. Sure, let's do it. Woohoo! All right, let's go! We'll take the elevator to the first floor lobby, and I'll show you the directory. I know there's a draw point around here somewhere, but I don't believe I have the ability to draw yet. Oh, hey, would you like to have these? My brother gave me these cars, but they're really not my thing. You can have them if you'd like. What? How do you play a card game? Hmm, I think it'd be best to look at the card game explanation in the tutorial. I don't know much about it, really. If you want to play cards with someone, talk to them by pressing button 3. But keep in mind, not everyone is a card player. Oh, and by the way, I don't play, so don't bother challenging me. Received seven cards. So yeah, you walk up to somebody and you press... Oh. Not the B button. I believe it's the X button or the Y. I'm using a, uh, a, a, a Microsoft controller for this, so it'll be a little bit different. I know normally I do horror games and stuff like that, but uh, RPGs are my bread and butter, so that's the directory. Well, this is it. Blam Garden is pretty big. It's a good idea to check where you want to go and select it here. I have a question. How do you use it? Move the cursor and press B1 to select. Next, I'll give a quick explanation of the various facilities. Also, if you select one, it just sends you right there. Yes, sir. You'll find the dormitory to the north. A majority of the students live in the dorms. There aren't too many students who uh, commute. Yeah, I'm in the dorms too. You can rest and change in there. West of the north block is the cafeteria. There's always a big rush for the hot dogs. You better get used to waiting in line. Got it. East of the north block is the parking lot. We usually take the garden car when a mission comes up. The front gate is located to the south. That's right, I have to meet instructor Trep at the front gate. Treepy, Trepe. I always, I always said Treepy. Hmm? What's the matter? Nothing. Next, we have the quad, located in the west block. There's an event being planned there. I know, I know, it's the garden festival. It's going to be great. I'm planning to be on the committee. You want to help out too? Let's just continue. South of the west block is the infirmary. This is where you get treated for your injuries, but a lot of students just come here for advice. What's the doctor's name? Dr. Katawaki. Now, the East Block. This is the training center. It's the only facility open at night. It's used for training, and they have real monsters running loose here. If you don't take it seriously, you may end up dead. Just be careful. 
Cool. Okay. South of the East Block is the library. There's a lot of material you can look up here, but the terminals in the classroom are a lot more efficient. And you already know about the classroom on the second floor, right? Yep, I remember that one. By the way, the headmaster's office is located on the third floor. You need permission to get in. Another question. What's the headmaster's name? Headmaster Sid. That's about it. Anything else? Got it. Hey, um, are you taking today's seed exam? Yeah. Then maybe I'll see you again later. I've already finished my training, the my training at my previous garden. I'm taking the seed exam today too. Good luck to both of us, huh? Thanks a lot. Well, you're welcome. And now, to save. So to save, you find one of those spots and you just go to save. Nothing fancy, nothing hard. And uh, yeah, there are my current playthroughs. And I'm going to save it over here on four. Because I would hate to lose that. So, we have GFs. We have Quetzalcoatl, who I am going to have set to learn card first. And then we have Shiva, whom I believe has Ice Magic Refinery. Which... I believe that is helpful. Um, I can't recall what it is I'm supposed to have her learn first. But I know Quetzalcoatl, you learn the card command, and it is great because it turns monsters into cards, and later on you can get stuff to change them into parts. Anyways, uh, we currently have no magic. In this game, to use magic, you have to find a draw point or draw it from an enemy uh, during battle. A lot of the time, you're going to be seeing me drawing from enemies. Um, I should have used the directory instead of just run. Luckily, PC Steam version, the loading times are incredibly fast, so I don't have to worry as much. Okay, so I want to go to the cafeteria because I believe there is a cutscene that we have to see. Yep, with Cypher, Fusion, Cypher, drink. <sighs> Can I drink something? I'd like some water, you know? Ignore. No more hot dogs today. Aw. Oh. What? What? I'm trying to talk to Cypher. Squall, can't you see the disciplinary committee's busy? Don't bother us. Yo, it's Squall. Oh yeah, Fujin's got a treat, you know? Want something? Rage. Gonna treat. My mistake. Ah. Uh... Uh, oh, uh. Okay, so that's not the cutscene I was looking for. But, doing that, it does show that uh, Cypher and the Disciplinary Committee are... Well, you, you, you'll see later on in the story, they... They, they aren't very nice, uh, but cutscenes like that and a few other things, you see that they're not as bad as you might think. Okay, well, now that I've done that... Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is in the Steam version, um, you can actually do a magic booster, which will give you a hundred of a whole bunch of magic. I will be using that because it is very useful. I've been here since the garden was established. Okay, nice to know. All right, you have to go in the in and out the out. And we'll talk to this guy. Nice breeze, beautiful sun. I think I'll just... Oh yeah, it is X button to play cards. Uh, I'm going to try and keep card 
games at a minimum uh, because they can get very time consuming. Uh, unfortunately, you'll need to do card games in order to get the really good stuff that you need. And this over here is a draw point. But no one can draw because I currently do not have the commands. Uh, what I need to do is I need to junction to Squall a GF known as Quetzalcoatl. I will give him the draw command, the magic command, and the item command. Now that I've done that, I can now draw from this point some cure. I got four cures, and then these will stack up as you uh, progress over time. Uh, they'll restock, that is. So, you may have seen that I can now junction... Oh, wait, nope, nope, that wasn't it. I can now junction magic to my magic stat. So if I junction cure, nothing happens. The more you have of a specific type of magic, the better the uh, increase. Some, uh, some increase better than others. I know that's very complicated, but yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see eventually. Hey, kiss, quistus, quistus. I have a few things to explain before we head off. GF gives us, gives us strength. The stronger the GF, the stronger we become. So here's a brief explanation on junctioning a GF. Junction... Junction tutorial. So yeah, this is... Yeah, this is explaining what I was just explaining. This means... A GF must be junctioned in order to power up and use abilities. Let's begin by junctioning a GF. Right now, no GF is junctioned. All other commands in gray cannot be selected yet. Once junction is selected, the GF and magic command appears. Since no GF is junction, magic is displayed in gray. Let's junction a GF by selecting GF. GF list appears. Press B3 to see abilities possessed by a GF. Oops. Everything okay up till now? You can always check back by, ac by accessing tutorial from the menu. We're good to go. Once we get to the fire cavern, I'll explain how to junction magic. Use the command draw during battle and stop magic from your enemies. Be sure to have some stocked. Ready to go? Fire ca the fire cavern used for the test is located east of here. Alright. We've now hit the world map. And this is the point in time where I... Holy crap. Why is it so choppy? Anyways, this is the point where I will end this off here. Seriously, why is this so choppy? It's never been this choppy. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, gotta do the usual stuff. Um, like and favor if you enjoyed. Uh, sorry, like and share if you enjoyed. Subscribe to part of the Panda Party, because there ain't no party like a Panda Party, because Panda Party don't stop. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.